work her like I would if she were a horse in training that I just pulled out of herself for the day. Um, whenever I approach a horse for the day, whether I know them or not, I just, I want to feel out what are their imbalances, what are their, you know, what's their state of mind today, how are they doing, what's their energy level, all that, because that's going to direct what I do during the day. So, with her, I mean, I, I know her. So, I'm going to start with the flexions, looking at elevation. I'm not going to do as many as I would at home because she's already had some today and I don't want to overtrain this. But I would do these flexions, and I generally do these with most new horses. so I'm going to do, kind of keep that in the back of my mind that she's tense in her jaw. Can you see how she opens her mouth and then clamps it shut? I would like her to start to relax that. She may not yet. So I'll give her a break. Again, with most new horses, I do the stationary flexions, and then I uh, get them walking. Good girl. And how they're doing on this particular day at this particular moment drives what I do. So if, if she's having a hard time in her neck, then I'm going to focus on her neck. She's having a hard time balancing left to right, I'll focus on that. She's having a hard time using her hindquarters, I would focus on that. So, I put her to sleep. I know. She <laughs> we, we understand, girl. But I'm going to give her this moment to sleep it off. I'll probably only do one selection with her because I'll just keep knocking her out for time's sake. I don't want to do that. But in a, I'll pay attention to how she responds to each exercise. Like, I'm seeing blood pumping through her jugular. So sometimes that you can see blood pumping really strongly through her vein right here. And I can see it, it looks like a, like a snake going down the throat. And sometimes you can see their heart a little bit, beating a little bit here. Again, that's all related to the stimula stimulation of that nerve. But I just take note of these things when I work them, and I see how they change over time. And with, with horses in training, I take notes so I can look back and, and see patterns emerge. her up, again for time's sake, normally I would let her sleep. She's like, oh, are you kidding me? So I would do the lateral bend next. And again, I'm going to do one each side to get a feel for her and then leave her alone since she's already done it today. But normally I would do it two or three times. So again, I'm looking at how is she doing? Is she balancing? Is she bending evenly through her spine? You see how she's straight here to here? That's something I want to watch over the next few weeks. I want her to be evenly bent. So what she's doing is bending at her pole, and at the base of her neck, but nowhere in between. So that's something I want to see change over the next few weeks. Basically, I'm constantly doing diagnostics and figuring out what needs to happen. Okay, she lost her balance this way.
way, so I might need to work her more to the left. So you see how she can't bend as far this way and then she lost her balance? So I'm probably going to work her to the left a little bit on, on that. Because she's putting, what this is telling me is she's taking weight off of this leg, off of her right. And if, if you have questions at any time, just, just interrupt me. And that's okay. She's overloading her left front foot a little bit more than her right. Okay, so I'm going to get her moving. Good. So that was pretty good. And again, what I'm doing is I'm just doing the turn exercise we did yesterday morning and seeing how it feels. So it's actually not too bad. She's off of her shoulders. She's better at it than she was yesterday. Her balance, look for bend. There she lost her balance. So I'm going to correct her loss of balance by doing the shoulder exercise we were just doing. So I'm going to squeeze my outside rein, walk into her. Correct her balance, soften my outside rein, and look for bend. So I really don't ever <laughs> say, okay, today I'm going to work on the bend. Or today I'm going to work on transitions. I pull the horse out and see what, what needs to happen. So if she were pushing through my hands a lot, I would do transitions. So again, she's balanced, she's pushing into me. So I'm going to close my hand on the outside rein, walk into her, get her balancing on her right front. I'm going to massage my left to help her get off her shoulder. There. Soften. Look for bend. Do you see how her bend is better now? going to stop her. And that was a good halt. So right there I just checked her transition. If it was a bad halt, I would probably take her out to the wall and do transitions. But she stopped pretty soft. We'll see if she does it again on this side. Now if she was having a hard time using her inside hind leg, then I would work on that. Okay, this is pretty good, so I actually am going to work on that. I'm going to lift my outside rein. There she engages. Send her forward. Lift my outside. There she engages. Let her go forward. Lift my outside. There. Let her go forward. And I'm just going to do this until I feel like she's slightly better. There. Release. And it was a good stop, so I'm not too worried about the transitions. So that's the groundwork that took me 10 minutes. And that's about all I would do. She's better than when I first felt her in her neck. So we're good to move on. And she kind of fell asleep again, so I'm going to walk her, wake her up. Is her girth tight? Mm -hmm. okay, I think Go ahead. I think I cannot make it move. Yeah, these are more comfortable, thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is feel her out under saddle and see what what I have underneath me today. Good girl. So I'm going to start with just turns. I also want to 
feel myself out every day. So if I get on a horse and my seat is tight, I'm going to work on my seat and not a lot on my horse. What I'm doing is I'm looking for a little bit of bend. Okay, she's falling onto her shoulders forward and to the left. So I'm going to lift her up a little bit. Look to my right. And let her rebalance, like right there. Then I'll soften my hands, let her go. Cavaletti is kind of an added bonus because it's going to get her to stretch. Okay, again, she's too forward. I'll lift her up. There, she's falling onto the left a little bit, so I'll turn out to the right. There, and I'll let her go. So what I'm doing is when she gets too forward, I'm just picking her up waiting until she shifts her weight backwards. And then I let her go. Because I want her to maintain her own balance. So if I'm always holding her, it's never going to develop. So you see how for a few steps there she maintained her balance? That's good. She has a better tempo now. So let's see if I can engage her hind quarters. So I'm going to lift her up a little bit because I know that she loses her balance easily. Look for the hind quarters. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And ride her forward. Good girl. And I'm going to offer her the chance to lower her head. So what I do when I like what she does is I soften and see if she wants to lower it. If I keep her up all the time, she's going to get really sore. So again, I'll look for her hind quarters. So I'm going to look for bend. She's a little bit too much on the inside leg. So I'll lift her up, turn to the outside. There. I'm coming on to Cavaletti, so that's not a very good time to ask for the hind leg. There. There. She's too much on the left front, so I'm going to turn to the outside. This is basically the shoulder exercise we were doing this afternoon. Look for her to take a step to the outside. Like here. Relax. Bring her hind leg under. Right there. So what I might start doing is thinking about some shoulder in. to keep her up. I know that this side is going to be difficult for her, so I'm going to wait until she balances on the outside shoulder. There. No shoulder in. Okay, she lost her balance, so I'll turn to the outside. Shoulder in. Shoulder in. Okay, I'll take that. Good. And then I'll let her relax. Good girl. You see how she relaxed her neck there? So she's taking bigger steps, but she's not speeding up. She's simply taking bigger steps. I'm going to do that again. So I'll think about lifting, slowing her tempo down, putting her weight on the outside. So I'm going to look to the outside. There. Turn to the inside. Yeah. And ride her forward.
probably going to do it a few more times before I switch sides. So again, lift, turn to the outside. So I want to get her weight up and to the right. Can you see how it's neither? Now it is. Okay, she lost it again there. Turn to the inside. She lost it, so I turn to the outside. Balance. Turn to the inside. Bring the, no, 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 bring the hindquarters. There's a little bit. Turn to the outside to get her balanced. I'll let her go. So you see how I'm looking for small efforts? Really small efforts. Good girl. But now, do you see how she's better in her balance? She's not leaning to the left as much? Everything that I'm doing is to get her balance better. It's not for the maneuvers. I don't care if she ever does shoulder in as long as she balances. Good girl. So, let's take her the other way. Good. Now I turn to the right there because if I turn to the left, I would have thrown her off balance. So let's see how the hind leg feels this direction. Okay, she got too fast. I'll do a transition to slower walk. Good. And look for the hind leg. Okay, it's not so good this direction. There. Right or forward. So what I have to think about is it, is she struggling with the maneuver because she's not engaging the inside hind leg? Or is she struggling with the maneuver because she's not using her shoulders? So right now, I think it's more of a shoulder issue. So what I might do, there, is look for her to move her shoulders around. So the reason I say that is when I asked her to bring her shoulders around, did you see how she twisted her neck in a funky way? So what I might do is look at the shoulders first. So I'll bring them in a step. Now I'll look for shoulder in. Can you see how it's immediately better? So what she's doing is, again, she's overweighting the left front leg. So when I ask her to bring her, sh her hindquarters across, do you see how she's still overweighting this leg? Mm -hmm. So what I want to do, shift her weight under the right front leg. Yes. So she's, she overweights her left front leg, both directions. So natural asymmetry. But that's, I mean, that's good to know because natural asymmetries become, you know, an easy way to find, to know how to work your horse. Okay, so I bring her shoulders over. Now I go to the hindquarters. Lift her up. Bring her shoulders over. Go to the hindquarters. Right there. But you see how the quality of her step improves after I look at the shoulders? So what I'm doing is I'm doing, I'm bringing the shoulders in, then the haunch is out. Too fast. Bring the shoulders in. Now the haunch is out. Turn. There. Right or forward. going to take her again to the left. So I change direction pretty frequently so the horse doesn't spasm. And I want to check this direction, see if her walk feels better. So she lost her balance again. I'm going to turn to the outside. There she corrected it. I'll see how long she holds it. Too fast. she's she's pretty much holding her balance better now okay so I don't really
need to do any more work with the shoulders and the hindquarters unless something falls apart. Because it's better than when I started. So what I'm going to do is try transitions, see if I can help that forward-backward balance. So right here she lost a little bit, good. Good, walk, good. I'll let her relax her neck. Stop nice and square. Yeah. So what this is telling me is I'm done for today. So she, I got on her, said okay. In hand, I saw she, she's heavy on this side. I saw it in the stationary flexion. I saw it on the walk works that she's heavy here. So I get on her and I confirm okay, she's heavy here. So what that tells me is let's, let's get the weight off of this shoulder and put it on this shoulder. So how can we do that? We can work on the turn where you get her shifting her weight by turning to the outside. That worked okay. So I got her putting her weight here and then engaging this hind leg. And that worked pretty well to the left. I did it a few times. I don't know how many times I did it, but a few times. Then switch direction. And again, I see she's heavy here. So what I do is I bring her shoulders to the inside. She puts the weight here. And then I engage this hind leg. Okay, she, we did that a few times, she improved. So we go back to the left, she was pretty good on, on this leg still. So I did, I added speed, some transitions. She did really well with that. We got a good stop, she's balanced now, we're improved and we're good to go. So questions about that at all? So the key is learning the exercises and knowing what they do. If you know what they do, you can know how to apply them, and that was 20 minutes. Not, that's plenty. She has made enough changes today for me to be happy and put her up. And then as she gets more fit, more balanced, then we just make it more complicated. This is good, good girl. But that's about how rides go. In the beginning, it's okay to practice the exercises as exercises so you, you understand them. But once you understand them, you don't have to do that anymore. You just incorporate them. And I would do the same thing heading down the trail. I would get on her, be like, okay, she's heavy on the left front, head down the trail and, and work on it. But that's about how they look. So any questions about that? felt like I did. Yeah. If they're there, I'll use them. Um, if, if the horse is lethargic, I would incorporate more of them at a trot. Or if the horse is lacking in impulsion or power, I would incorporate some at a trot. Otherwise, I would just use them about like I did. Any other questions? Heavy on the left. I would just assume that she's going to be like that for a long time.